Well, Emilio, it is very nice to see you again. We talked during St. Elmo's Fire. Thank you. Nice to see you. And at that time, uh, I'm sure lots of people besides myself did this, but I remember asking you about your next project, and we talked about that was then, this is now. Correct, correct. That yeah. it was your project. Mm -hmm. And uh, so all this time I've been looking forward to seeing it. Now here we are. I finally did, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, it, since this is your project, I'm wondering now, after you wrote it, uh, and then of course you were going to play this role as well, then did you turn it totally over to the producers and director, or did you keep writing? Well, I, I, um, I have a, there's a saying that I, that I kind of follow, and that is when the writer ends, the director begins. When the director ends, the actor begins. Um, so when the, I delivered the, the shooting script to the, to the director, it became his film. It became a Chris Kane film. Uh, and, th and that's just, that's the way it is. And, and when I direct, uh, hopefully I'll be given the same uh, respect. Um, it's, it's his vision. And ho hopefully what we've done uh, in the, in the pre-production is you know, uh, link our visions together so where he he and I are on the same wavelength and, and we don't have any problems shooting. And we did, we never did. Did you have a say-so about the casting of the other characters? I tell you, I read with uh, just about everyone uh, that we ended up casting. Uh, so I had casting consultation, as it's uh, referred to contractually. So, so uh, you did have some input. Right, right. Yeah. Sure. I'm wondering also, did you put any of your own money into this? Yes, uh, in the beginning I did, uh, as far as the option, the option agreement. Uh, yes, I did. But then the actual production no, money? No, no, no. That, that was all put up uh, by the gentleman, uh, um, Lindbergh and Andov, uh, in uh, Minneapolis. Did you shop it around as an independent production, or and did Paramount snap it up, or what? No, I tell you what happened. Uh, it, it was really uh, turned down by by every major in Hollywood, and I think a lot of that was was the fact that uh, the other Hinton novel to film translations did not fare well as far as the box office. Um, so they were a little reluctant to, you know, put five, six million dollars, because when a studio makes a film, even a small film, uh, small films considered to be, you know, six, seven million dollars. Is that what this so, was? No, this we shot this for three. Did you? Yeah, yeah, so uh, anyway, somewhere between three and four, and we shot it in six weeks. Uh, so it was done relatively fast on a, on a pretty much a, a low budget. So most of the people work for scale? Uh, just about, yeah, just about. You got a lot of film for three million dollars. Yes, yes, we did. It's all up there. Yeah, it's all up on the screen, As they which say. is great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering, Emilio, since you have been so close to this, this has been your baby. If there is any adverse criticism of the film, and you know, I'm sure Gone with the Wind got adverse criticism. They all do at some point. Will you be? Uh, uh, more upset, or will you be uh, uh, take it more personally? To tell you the truth, I have um, I've not seen any reviews from it. Uh, I, I've just heard, some, you know, some, uh, some very positive feedback. All the all the feedback I've had has been very positive. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to react. Uh, of course, I, I've got uh, you know a lot invested in this as far as time and energy and. Uh, but uh, you know, I've got another film coming out, and I've got uh, uh, you know uh, an, another picture that I'm that I've written that I'm going to direct and star in. Uh, so uh, you know, I'm. It's not going to be the end of my uh, end of my life if it's not received well. I think it's it's a critic's film, though. I think the critics are going to really take to this, and uh, and and I, I really do. It's it's a, it's an actor's movie, and and they tend to to really. Uh, uh, they're favorable towards them. Yes. What is the other film coming out? Uh, it's a Stephen King uh, picture called Overdrive. Oh and boy, he directed here we go. it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a while. It's about uh, a comet enters our atmosphere and, and takes over the machines of the world. And, and what it's are really you? about the machines rebounding on human beings. I play a short order cook in a um, truck stop. And uh, I, I'm the hero and I get the girl and save the world and blow things up. It's Who great. else is in it? Um, uh, and there's a new, uh, young new actress, Laura Harrington's in it, Pat Hingle is in it. Pat Hingle plays the villain. He's great. 
It's going to be a lot of fun. And then you say you have another project of your own? Right. What is right. it? It's a picture called Wisdom. And uh, it's an original screenplay. And Gladden Entertainment, uh, uh, is our, they're producing it. And uh, we start production on that in January. And who uh, else will be in that? No casting uh, has, done, has been done uh, so far, except for myself. So. Now, you, you wrote it then? Right, right. That's correct. And you, can you give me just an idea of what it is? It's a, it's a contemporary drama about a young man who, who sets out to, uh, well, he, he doesn't fit in anywhere uh, socially, and he kind of sets out to change himself, change his life, and uh, uh, unwittingly becomes a hero of sorts. He's another anti-hero, like, uh, like Mark, though, more along the same lines of that, that type of character. Let's see, Emilio, are you what, about 23 now? 23, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. really doing a heck of a lot for such a young man. I'm having a lot of fun. That's, really, I'm enjoying doing myself. That's great. I have to ask you about one scene, uh, one particular part of this movie that was then, this is now. Uh, the scene where uh, you come in and find Brian and his girlfriend in your bed. Okay, then the next morning, Brian's mother kind of makes light of the whole thing because, you know, right. she's aware of it too. Now, I'm wondering, if your mom had, if that had happened to you with your mom, how would your mom react? <laughs> I tell you, um, that there's, uh, there's no way of knowing because she never caught me. <laughs> <laughs> but now you know your mom well enough. Uh, what do you think she might have done? Uh, probably not reacted the way uh, uh, Brian's mother reacts because uh, w w the way we wanted to play uh, his mother was that she was all knowing and all seeing and all accepting. Uh, so, so, but my mother probably uh, would not be so accepting. She'd probably be a little, uh, a little down on that. Yeah, I'm sure. What about your dad? Same thing. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think he'd probably be a little upset. Okay. Well, Emilio, good luck with the picture. Thank you. I hope it does well for you. Thank and you. Uh, we'll look forward to the next features Thank and you. hopefully some more meetings. I enjoy okay. talking with you. Thank you very much. Thanks, All Emilio. Right. See you. Okay. That's a very nice interview. I enjoy talking Thank you. with you. Yeah. you know, in